My name is Bill Finger. I work for FHI 360. It's a uh, big nonprofit reproductive health and information organization based in North Carolina and with offices around the world. I've been with FHI for about 25 years and before that worked as a public policy journalist in the States and before that was in the Peace Corps. So I've always had a love for international health issues. Uh, there are a lot of, lot of potential pitfalls for data. Often you're on a story and you have some sense of what you want to write about and you need some data, so you need to go to some sources to find out some basic information. So you need to know what those sources are. And we talked about that today a good bit. And one of my colleagues had some really basic, uh, very um, useful resources to share. One of the other issues that we talked about was uh, what data to rely on. Because even on the, first, uh, on the one hand, you need to go and seek some data. And another time, another, on the other hand, some data comes at you. So do you trust it? And who is your source? And often for the population field in particular, journalists, especially overseas, but even in the States, is, that's not their whole beat. So they don't know the field enough to know what sources are reliable. And that's a really big issue in any reporting job. But in this area, because there's not an area where people concentrate all the time, like unlike, say, covering City Hall, you know who to trust on information, who's kind of saying being self-serving, and that's a harder thing to know sometimes when you're not covering the field regularly. So we talked about some basic sources, and uh, then one of the journalists asked me some, some really interesting questions about a, a particular angle after the meeting. An another issue is, uh, that came up was the responsibility of journalists. So you have some kind of fact to report, and then you have an audience to take that information. The journalists are really translated. It's almost like being a translator of more scientific information or more quantitative information into a story that makes sense for the audience. And the audience can vary a lot, whether it's a more sophisticated quarterly magazine or a daily newspaper audience or what. So the, the journalist has a hard job because you have to be true to the data and not make it too simplistic if we talked about something doubling or re-increasing 100%, these casual ways of describing increases in risk can really not represent the science correctly. But you've got to somehow make it easy enough to understand for your audience. Those are big challenges. One of the tricks is to zero in on one, one kind of key fact and not try to, uh, not try to, to, to get too complicated with it say clearly what the, the major point of the study was and then explain what that means in as clear a way as you can. So clarity is the most important kind of deliverable of journalism. If it's not clear to the reader, no matter how nuanced you might be, you're not serving the reader well. So you, and it's often easy in, with data to get too complicated because it takes a while to understand it yourself and then pull out like the key message. So that's, I think that's a good rule of thumb. Well, I, I think a couple of common mistakes are, number one, in general with journalism, is taking a number that someone gives you. We increased contraceptive prevalence by, we doubled it last year. They doubled contraceptive prevalence. Well, then you have to look at what is their source for telling you that, this individual. So a common mistake, and often journalists are on deadline too. So a common mistake is not digging back behind the source, especially when pressured on deadlines. So you say, well, this guy's pretty reliable. So you just have to be careful on deadline and who with your source is to dig back. If you're not sure, check, check out the source. How I did it was, was, again, what I just said, was try to take a limited number of things on a certain deadline, and then if I had time, to dig in a little bit more.